you believe this? Somebody created a Flappy Bird clone in PHP. PHP of all languages. I wanted to try it out for myself, so I just followed the installation instructions. Like a good boy. And I got it up and running on my PC. And because it's PHP, it's super God easy to damn. make any changes. Found some bugs. And I did it all live on Twitch. If you missed the stream, don't worry about it. Hit it is. It's gonna be the first time that I installed PHP in the current decade. I want to go through all of the steps. I really want to run this locally. And I want to take a look at the source code, judge it, and maybe even make some changes. Make sure the PHP GLFW extension is installed and enabled. Oh, download DLL. Ta -da! Okay, I got the file. I, no, I... God, I pressed the delete button. Locked. Uncommon file. What do you mean by that? This file is not commonly downloaded and may be dangerous. Even Windows knows that, uh... Not a lot of people have been downloading um, graphics libraries for PHP. <laughs> Wait, hold on a fucking second. Is Windows sniffing files that I download and the files that you download? Where does it get that information? Oh well, we got a game to play. Continue download, please. Ta -da! Okay, so we've got it there. All that I need to do is put extension equals and the name of that extension without the extension. You know what I mean, right? Then you can simply clone the project and install the dependencies with Composer. Pretty easy stuff. I think I'm gonna clone it in the PHP folder. Then I'm gonna call it, what the fuck? And now, the last step. Composer install. Ta-da! No, not there. How about the, wait. Uh... Oh yeah, I gotta install Composer, that's right, it's something you gotta do. I am about to run this, and maybe install a virus on my machine. But, emphasis on maybe. Mm, uh, uh, what? Unable to find the wrapper HTTPS, did you forget to enable it when you configured PHP? Uh, yes. Huh? Ta-da, okay. So we got the file, now I've gotta run the file. Composer dot far 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 run PHP composer bar install. I think that's the command. Oh, okay. All of the dependencies have been installed. Another step done. And <gasps> we finished installing. So we can call bash bin play. Is it binary? I don't think it's a binary. I think it's just a script. Oh. It's supposedly a PHP script. But I don't think Windows works this way. I'm gonna remove this thing. And now it's a normal PHP file. And this is what it looks like. You run the bootstrap file, which is something that even I used to do when I, when I made websites. There was this one file that was always included. It, it had the things in it. it. It did the startup thing and all that thing. Things. It started up the framework thing. And then glfw init and gets the game and starts the game. And then it cleans up after itself. Let's not think about what will happen if start through an exception. Let's run this. Then play. Oh, fatal error. Uncaught call to undefined function. Mbustring. It, it should work. Ta da! No music, apparently. Or maybe it's missing some. Oh! Okay, you gotta press space again to restart. How good. Okay, it's a lot more difficult than I thought. Let's see if I can get past the... Hold on, just need a little bit more... Just not used to the physics, that's all. It's actually more challenging than it looks like. It's the physics. Me being the software developer that I am, I can change that. Flappy PH... PH... Pan system. Oh, this. Smells like a bug. Sprite component. Oh, I can change the elephant. I can be a different elephant. What does elephant to look like? <gasps> That's a cool looking elephant. I may have just spoiled the game for myself and 
for you. Because apparently there's another elephant. You might maybe unlock it if you reach the end. Sorry. <gasps> Jump force? Oh, yes. Now that's, that's uh, more challenging, actually. But it feels like I have more control over the jumping now. Although it looks like one is just not enough to go over that pipe. Uh, uh, uh. But I'm doing better than I did before. I think I might need to add a little bit more. 1.5. Maybe the gravity is just too strong. Holy, oh wow, 1.5 is actually pretty usable. I like this. I'm not gonna spend the next couple of hours just uh, trying to uh, avoid pipes. I'm a software developer. I want to make it so that those pipes don't hurt this poor elephant. It's been bullied way too much. It's okay, poor boy. I'm gonna take care of this player. It's got dying. Oh, I can just make it so that it never dies. So somewhere out there, dying is set to true. Oh, a collision! Inter- Oh, and velocity. Oh, give it a boost! Touch it! Whoa! Oh god! Um... Okay, so that- Oh! <laughs> it's going up and down! So I thought it was- I thought velocity referred to horizontal velocity, but no, it's- It's vertical velocity! Going up and down, so... Every time it comes down, it's gonna go back up because it's gonna end up touching one of the pipes. So the pipes make it jump up. Goes up and up and up. <laughs> oh yeah. I'm about to make it to 100! How long does it take to reach the end? What's the high score? I wonder if it's being procedurally generated with the same seed or place those pipes by hand because that's a lot of pipes. It just keeps going. I wonder if anybody out there gotten this far without cheating, of course. 150. You know what? I don't think this is ever gonna end. But there's really only one way to find out. Reading the source code. There's a game view scene, which is the one that we're looking at. This is all that there is. There are a couple of objects here that are responsible for rendering, so they could replace the sprites, they could. So it sets up the camera system, then we've got the rendering system, and then there's a, the, the flappy pH fan system. It's the game itself, the game logic. There's a pipe system, and at first, when I read that word, I was thinking about Unix pipes. But, it's talking about those pipes. Register console commands. Do something with the console command if you want to. It's just doing var dumps. It's just dumping them. Yeah, it doesn't even take input. Oh my god, almost 500. Load. Loads resources required for the scene. Pre prepare base entities. Basically, prepare anything that is required to be ready before the scene is rendered. Default camera mode is game in the game. Hmm. Oh, every time update camera is called, just follows the player. That's all that it does. So if I were to remove this, it should stop following the player. Yeah, okay, but the background is moving. I think it moves with the player, not with the camera. And press Control C to open the console. Whoa, that's what it meant by console. Oh. So the console is probably allows me to run code in the game. Remember that piece of code? There, oh, there they are, the, the var dumps. Wait, what the heck? I've just noticed that the pipes are closed. So after a while, the pipes close. So it should have been impossible for anybody to get a, such a high score. Except for me. <laughs> So the, the pipes close, and I didn't see when. Didn't notice. Damn it. But I, I want to see when. I, I suspect it might be at the thousand. Then we've got pipe this to Oh, let's go insane. One. Oh my god! No! That's a lot. That's a lot of pipes. There's no way 
There's no way you can go through that. So that's what it looks like when you give it only one pixel. I was hoping that it would start counting from the right side of the pipe, but apparently it starts counting from the left side, which is why you see this mess. <laughs> oh, wait, how did I do that though? I think I fell first and just let it move. Look at the score. Wait, oh, I'll be able to see when it closes. I think it's gonna be at the thousand. Yes, it is. So it closes at the thousand. Oh God, it's dying. It's going super slow. Oh, it ends there as well. Or something just bugged up the, the game. It's a slideshow. It's running at 3 FPS, 4 something. Not many. <laughs> oh, undefined the ray key. We're going to take a look at that in a little bit. It looks like if I just let it go down, it will never die. Let me fix this. Okay. <laughs> if you just don't jump, you win. Just don't jump. You gotta think outside the box. We found a bug. If you just don't jump, you win. Every single person is gonna instinctively keep pressing the space bar. Not realizing they can simply not. And they would win. I want to see what happens if we go really, really, way high. Okay, it doesn't seem to work. It, it just goes boink. Or maybe very, very high. Mm, what if I decrease the size? Oh, that doesn't work. Hello. Oh, I can see more. I need to try this. No. What if I set this to 20? Assuming that the pipes are 20 pixels wide, it shouldn't look like a mess. Oh, the other one is still running. 4,000! Oh, I'm gonna put it out of its misery. Oh, that's my high score now. So, uh huh. So that's more reasonable. Now they're next to each other and there's barely any space. So I could make this more interesting. How about, um, 500? Let's see. Whoa, what the? It just disappeared. Oh, there, there, uh, oh. Pipe start offset. Start offset before the first pipe. Oh, I can actually decrease or increase this. So let me actually increase it and see if I can go way high to the point that no pipe can hurt me. It does look like they're not rendering. Oh, there it is! One! Wow, that's a lot, actually. And I fell so fast, I didn't hit the pipe. Pipe size? Can I make them wider? Do we have thick pipes? Holy crap, we do! God damn! They're huge! Pipe height. Minus 45 and 45. Pipe gaps? The predetermined pipe gabs. What's a gab? This determines how large the gap is where the player can fly through. Oh, how big the gab is gonna be. Oh, it's variable. I didn't notice that it was variable. They all look like, they all look the same. So it can actually be different, but I don't know. They look the same to me. Same size each time. Maybe it's just very subtle. Maybe I need new glasses. Oh! The seed! We found the seed! So it's always 42. That's why. And it's always generating. And the comment is wrong. It's between minus 30 and 30. I was tricked. So it used to be 45. What does it look like if you put 45 again? It looks like they spawn off screen yeah that that one that's way higher than it was before i see why they decreased the value let me set it to zero so what does a zero look oh it's the center the gap should be somewhat smaller based on the distance traveled oh subtle what if i set it to one it's gotta be very unfair isn't it holy crap it <laughs>
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep, I'm pretty much fucked here. This elephant will need to go on a on a diet. What if I set this to oh I don't know, one hundred? The gap should be big enough for me to pass. Oh yeah, a pro gamer move. Wait, I died? How did I die? That was embarrassing. I may have touched the ceiling. Easy game. So it does generate using a fixed seed, so it always looks the same. Very smart. Unregisters the system. This is where you can handle any cleanup. Looks like it doesn't clean up after itself, so it's a dirty boy. I have an idea. Why am I pressing space? Let's remove the gravity. Speed. Oh! I can make it go super fast. Fast as fuck, boy. I should replace it with Sonic. <laughs> Wait, should I really do that? Please give credit to the creator of the sprite sheet if you plan to use it in any way. What if I don't, eh? Mm -hmm. What if I eat the donut and steal? <gasps> okay, so there we go. Uh, wait. <gasps> I don't think paint has support for transparency, right? We've got... GIMP. Whoa, what the fuck? Are you okay, Sonic? You look a little bit, um... Gift. Sonic caught the smallpox. Alright. I'm gonna put him the- Oh, what the heck? Sonic. Sonic.png. Oh, there he is. He goes- Oh god, that looks so good. Look at my score. You can call me lazy, but um... I prefer to work smart, not hard. He's going fast as fuck, boy! We reached a thousand! It just doesn't have any more data. It's actually crashing at the moment. It's trying to retrieve data that doesn't exist. And it just so happens to look like this. It's the equivalent of reaching world minus one in Super Mario Brothers. Pipe distance. Let's put it back to 20. Woo! There it goes! I wonder how slow it's gonna be when Sonic's super fast. Oh, that, oh god, that was insane.